We are back in Barrie inside the Socialist Labor Party Hall, and joining us now is Karen Lane, the Vice President of Barrie's Historical Society. You know, Karen, last week we talked about uh, the hall in its heyday. Talk to us now about the next chapter in the hall's history. Well, um, the, this building was very active right up until the 1930s. And as you might imagine, during the Great Depression, it was pretty hard to keep a co-op going in a big building like this. So Karen, tell us about the co-op that got started out of the year. It turned out it was the first Italian uh, food co-op in New England and founded in 1911. It was a very popular place. People could come here and get all their favorite ethnic foods, particularly Italian um, cold cuts, cheeses, olives, all, olive oils that they loved from, from home. So this was a place to shop for ethnic food, but also was a, a regular grocery store for many people in the community. They also did bake bread for a while, but the need for bread kept growing and growing. And so finally in 1913, they decided they would build a separate bakery building, which um, is located right behind this building and was recently reopened. For the rest of its life until 1994, when we were afraid it was going to be demolished and a group of us got together and sort of restarted the old Barry Historical Society and we said we'd like to buy this building and save it. And uh, it was interesting because right at that point the National Park Service was having what they called a theme study to try to recognize labor history buildings around the country and so a, a person we knew said why don't you nominate uh, this building for that purpose. And in the end, we got chosen, which was really wonderful. That was kind of a little boost. What community events take place today in this building? Well, that's a really good question. Well, it's used by the public for many personal family events, that sort of thing. Um, but we also have one major event that we like to have each year. Um, it's a result of, a, of a, uh, an incident that took place in Chicago in 1886, which was a, uh, a, a labor kerfuffle and um, it was called the Haymarket um, Incident, and out of that grew an effort to try to secure the eight-hour working day for people around the United States, because people were working many more hours than just eight hours each day. Oh, so every May, um, what can Vermonters here in Barrie expect at this building every May, May 1st? Well, until the pandemic, we like to have a public event, usually a sit-down dinner, and then sometimes a concert or a film. Uh, we've had several world premieres here as a part of May Day, and we just like to do something that's in keeping with the history of the building and the philosophy of the people who built it. At this place in history.